got a little bit of sleep, but it's mostly just been people driving past the car. So it doesn't feel like I slept. So that's great. guys it's just about one o'clock I think it's time for a drive don't you alrighty guys so here's what happened I had about three hours of footage that I was gonna use to put together this video with and my computer decided to nuke the crap out of it while I was in the middle of editing so I went from about three hours of footage to closer to about 45 minutes the rest of it just completely corrupted and I couldn't use it at all what you're seeing in this episode is what was left and what was still usable after everything that happened when my computer crashed a bunch of times and corrupted my data. I got the whole episode basically finished. I had another couple of minutes of footage to finish editing and my system totally crashed and completely deleted all of my progress. Reloaded all of it, got right back to the same spot, crashed again. And this time when it crashed, completely deleted everything. So I lost about three hours total worth of footage and uh, this episode is everything that was left from that so I'm sorry that it isn't a complete story and that so much of what I recorded went missing um, at some point I'm definitely gonna redo the 24 hours challenge in a car but the next 24 hour challenge that I'll be doing is probably gonna be 24 hours in my bathtub so that should be something and there was a lot of commentary in the episode that, you know, is gone because of what happened. So to summarize, I was born in California. I spent the first seven years of my life there. Moved to Hawaii when I was seven. I spent until I was 17 there and then moved to the mainland for a little bit. Went on a crazy long road trip from Nashville to uh, Portland, Oregon. That was super fun. Thought I was gonna live in Oregon. Did for just a little bit and then ended up moving back to Hawaii. So I saved up a whole bunch of money and a little bit later moved to Seattle. And then life kind of fell apart while I was in Seattle and I ended up having to move back to Hawaii again. And this time I spent about two years saving up and just replacing everything that I had before to get ready to move. And this time I was not gonna move back to Hawaii no matter what happened. Uh, and so I ended up moving to Dallas, took a crazy road trip, starting in San Francisco, 22 hour drive, got to Dallas, stopped along the way at the shadiest, most Bates Motel looking motel I've ever stayed in. And I passed out so hard that I missed my checkout time and the maid caught me laying in the bed and thought that I was dead. Freaked out, ran out of the room screaming and I had to you know, apologize to the manager and the maid and make sure that everybody was okay. And I immediately got back on my car, filled with all of my stuff and just took off as soon as I was done apologizing uh, to catch up on lost time. Got to Dallas, spent uh, about four years there, worked for uh, a couple of really cool companies, got promoted really, really fast in one company and uh, they gave me the opportunity to move to Atlanta. So I did that. Nine months later, a whole bunch of shady stuff happened with that job and I switched gears a little bit, took a sales and marketing job for a little while, learned a lot of really interesting skills, but that put me in some crazy situations that I'll cover some other time. Literally within a week, I went from having nothing packed and having no idea I was moving to being in a moving truck driving to Dallas. So that was an insane move. Again, guys, sorry that life kind of kicked this video in the balls, but that's pretty par on course for the last uh, year and a half for me. So I'm just kind of rolling with it. All right, Brand Ambassadors, thanks so much for uh, like, commenting, and subscribing. And uh, I really appreciate every time you guys leave a comment on my video or just check one of my videos out. And if I can help anybody have a better day and a better time during quarantine, that just makes doing all of this even better. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.